All right. Yeah, just picking up my wine gums. No, I'm all right. You okay? Just glad that someone's talking to me. Well, why wouldn't I? I know you far better than these people who are pointing the finger right now, okay? I will always, always be on your side. Thank you. Do you know what that means? Oh, yeah, I do. I mean, I've been sent to Coventry so many times, I thought about moving there. <laughs> Listen, why don't we uh, have a chat? Have a bit of lunch at the cafe if you want, two-ish. OK. OK, yeah, thanks. Um, that, that'd be nice. Yeah, OK. It is. It is. It will be. Oh, lovely. See you, bye-bye. Oh, hey. How was she? Well, uh, not as good as you, clearly. What's with the face, then? What's with the face? Oh, you mean by the fact I'm smiling? No, I'm just saying it's not your natural default expression, is it? Excuse me? What's my natural default expression? What? Show me. No, don't be daft. Yeah, no, 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 I'm curious. Show me. Do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> well it's more, it, I don't know, it's more like... Hmm? Look, I didn't mean to offend you. All I'm saying is that you're just not really a, a natural smiler, are you? Well, can you blame me, life I've had? Anyway, thankfully, things are looking up. I've just got off the phone from Nadim Atala. Sorry, should that mean something to me? Oh, come on, he's only one of the biggest names in online retail. Like, open any wardrobe in the country and he'll be in there. Oh, well, he's a peeping Tom, then. <laughs> Don't give up the day job. Listen, he's like a, he's like an industry legend and he is interested in some of our lines, so... Great. Yes, it is great! Because if I land a big, fat, juicy contract from him, it'll put Sarah and a big shot uncle right in their place. And that, my darling, will put a big flaming smile on my face. Oh, yes, it will. Nadim Atala. Nadim Atala. Hey! Tests. Just getting back in touch with who I used to be. Yeah, well, as long as you're careful. You are on bail, thanks. Mm, it's humanity that wants to be careful. The ice is cracking beneath our feet. Exactly. And it was cracking 20-odd years ago when I first started. Yeah, well, nobody can accuse you of bandwagon jumping. She was swampy before swampy. Swampy? Don't mind. <laughs> well, if you need any volunteers, just say the word. When it comes to placards, I'm your go-to girl. Yeah, I'll bear that in mind. It's just been good to have something to throw myself into. Just forget myself for a few hours. Well, I suppose the end of the world being nigh does put things into perspective. Yeah, something like that. What about you? Are you feeling more like your old self? Oh, my old self was a problem. But, hey, look, I'm still here, you know, thanks to my surgeon. He played dice with my life, but nobody cares. It's awful. Look, this is the world that you're so keen to save. If you've got power and money, you can get away with anything. If you're the little guy, you've just got to suck it up and be grateful. Only if you choose to. Mind if we join you? Yeah, yeah. no, go for it. We're just uh, putting the world to rights. Really? Yeah, well, nobody ever put the world to rights from the comfort of a chair. Or with a bottle in their hand. Well, not unless it had petrol and a lit rag in it. <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, well, actions speak louder than words. I'm Griff. Peter, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take your point, but, you know, in, in my experience, you'll never beat the system. Not if you play by its rules. No. You just need to learn to think outside their box. The box they stuck you in the day you were born, and the box they'll bury you in. If you let them. Even worse than armchair warriors. If you want something changing, change it yourself. The elite won't do it for you. What elite? Oh, listen, hey, they exist. Believe you me, I found that out to my cost. Or maybe you should tag along next time we go in a protest. I'm definitely there. Uh, activism is a serious commitment. It's not just a day out. What's up with you? The more the merrier. Bring the missus if you want. Oh, no, I'm not sure it's her cup of tea. How is she? Yeah, she's all right. She's wrapped up in some big business deal. She expects me to be blown away because some guy called Nadim Atala's turning up at the factory next week, you know, and I've never even heard of the bloke. Listen, I've, I've got to shoot. I'm sorry. See ya. Bye. Yeah, well, Atala and his company have been in our radar for ages. Why is that? Runway 5 synonymous with fast disposable fashion. It's got a carbon footprint the size of King Kong. King Kong, Bigfoot, and the Yeti all rolled into one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Carla would get involved with someone like that. You heard what her old man just said. This is the chance we've been waiting for. To do what? Shine a light on what he does. Trouble is, we can't get near him. 
His plants and his depots are mainly abroad and his diaries are state secret. But yeah, it was. What are you doing? Getting the word out. If he's going to be in our backyard next week, we need to mobilise. Absolutely. 